Just what is it that you want to do? Well, we want to be free. We want to be free to, to do what we want to do. And we want to get loaded. And we want to have a good time. And that's what we're going to do. Hello. Uh, hi, guys. Pot here. Uh, vlog time. And uh, it's probably Monday by the time I upload this. Uh, I recorded it partly Sunday, partly Monday morning. Uh, so, uh, anyway, what's been going on, what's coming up, and uh, what's going on? Uh, right, what's happening? Well, now back out in the shed. Um, it's nice and warm, so I'm, I'm, I'm out here and I'm happy. I'm currently on the Track and Trace postal site. Uh, I'm waiting on a killer uh, rebuildable atomizer arriving. And to go with that, uh, my <laughs> wee Bobby, <laughs> my wee Bobby catomizer tank from uh, Alba Vapors arrived as well. Um, so this is for the killer. Uh, I wanted to get a, a decent tank, and I've actually owned one of these before, and uh, it did come with a. It, it, I'll tell you what, I'll try it. Uh, it did come with a, a catomizer, but I have to admit that uh, for whatever reason, and it's probably me and the liquid that's in it, uh, just wouldn't fire. Well, it would fire, but... Uh, I'm not getting any... Drip it. Drip it. Kingdom for my drip it. Uh, I'm not getting any vapour. Yeah, nothing. Uh, so I think that's just a case of uh, there was only one punch hole in it, and I think it's pretty strong. It's mostly VG, uh, so I'd probably have to punch another couple of holes in it. But uh, so that's just to say that I've got a killer coming, which should hopefully be tomorrow, and uh, I'll I'll get a review done in that. Because uh, I'm quite curious about it. Um, uh, I'm loving. The, I put a review up for the first of my Polish encounters, uh, the GTMF 2020. I was going to say 22. Uh, loving this thing. It's, uh, as I said in the review, it's not. Wow, look at me! I'm the latest and greatest and best looking atomizer in the market. There's, uh, there's not, there's no USP, there's no unique selling point, uh, like a lot of the stuff that's coming out just now, the unique selling points for me are the configuration of it and the fact that it was built by a couple of blokes, uh, you know, they turned it themselves, they didn't farm out part of it to other people and stuff like that, so just, be careful when people say stuff is homemade in a shed, it is not always the case. Anyway, uh, I also got and uh, I left the bottle inside. Now, please, if you watch this, as much as I love people getting in touch with me and blathering to me, it's great. Uh, a couple of things. One, I can't always respond straight away. I do have to work, um, and, and and sometimes it, you know, people write want to know a lot of things. Uh, so I'm not being ignorant if I don't reply straight away, and if I don't answer all your questions and point you in another direction, it's because I'm just one guy, uh, and the forums are there, and you know you can get a lot of advice in a lot of places. But I, I'm always happy to help it where I can. Uh, the other thing is, so many people um, want me to try an e-liquid. I don't do e-liquid reviews, and I and I, I just uh, I have my vanilla custard. I have my pixie juice cool orange, which will 
gets breathed about a drop a day, so it'll last forever. And I also have my, my frostbite menthol. That's it. That's all I really want. I just stick to that because that's what I know. And and I don't have the time to do ages reviews. And so please don't write to me asking me if I would like to try it out. Uh, and please don't be offended when I say no. Uh, sorry. I'm just sorry. But in saying that... <laughs> There's a guy, uh, is it Meadow, uh, Meadow, uh, his username, he got in touch with me and said, uh, saw your fluid review, uh, I've got this stuff, try this, my scorpion blood, uh, I sent him an email back saying, no, thank you, uh, I don't do it anymore, and he said, oh, go on, go on, I went, no, 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 and anyway, it went on like that, and finally I said, okay, I won't do a full review of it, I'll mention it at some point and let you know what I think. So, it's basically his own concoction uh, and it's not showing up well in the light there, but it is actually green. Um, and I've no idea of the PG or the VG content or anything like that. And this is it on my Orion. Uh, and it is wicking away quite the thing. And it smells like fluid. It's, it's, it's got that whole aniseed thing going on. Um, and I have to admit that... Well, hang on. Now the, uh, the fluid I had was at 5% and if you saw the review you would know it was like well this would be like fluid at say 2.5% it's like fluid but tamer uh, slightly tamer if you like aniseed you'd love this uh, I could quite happily vape this all day uh, whereas fluid I would only vape when I felt like being uh, you know bad to myself you know instead of flipping my back I would have some fluid uh, whereas this I can vape all day it's quite quite enjoyable um, so there's uh, you know he sent me I think sent me a wee 10 ml bottle and uh, I have to say that I quite like it uh, so in short scorpion blood if you hear of it, uh, if you see the views and people talking about it, in my opinion, as it came to me, it is like a mild version of fluid. That's my comparison. So, that's that out of the way. But thank you for sending it on to me. No more. Nobody. Anybody. Nobody. No more. Uh, right. Um, what else have I got coming up? I have got, and I'll do my usual, I'll go to my own website and read my list of what's coming up, because I forget. Oh, the L Rider. Uh, mine have got a competition going on for the L Rider Transformer. That's not competition. Uh, just send me your email with your name and country and that'll do. Um, Polish stuff. I've got the Mancos 22mm mod, it's like a GP Paps type affair, um, type affair, uh, that's coming, I've got an 18T50 version and an 18650 tube for it as well, I bought that myself, I also bought a Senesis Rebuildable Atomizer, got that coming, um, that's from Poland as well, that's a 22mm uh, rebuildable atomizer, but the thing is, uh, the tank and the top has got a, a brass section on it as well, but looks, it's in the outside, it's not a brass tank, uh, so that looks really cool. Uh, I've got the Dream, uh, which is here. I've done a review on it, but I'm not uploading it as yet. I'm waiting for the person that supplied them, gets them into stock again, uh, but from me, 
uh, on the dream. Uh, killer. And I've also got the... You remember the UKVA? Uh, I did a review. I got the first one that was out for sale and did a review of it. Sung the praises. Loved it to bits. Well, Jim, the guy, he's making a titanium 22mm version. Uh, so... I am down as getting the first one and I will be reviewing that and I cannot wait because for me it's just the best thing about doing reviews. This guy sits in a shed at a workshop like this uh, with a lathe, he buys in the material, raw materials and he makes it from scratch and he does everything himself. Uh, it's going to be titanium. 24 karat gold, the lot. I just, it's, for me, it is the highlight of doing this review and carry on. Eh, what else? I'm going to have to have a clear out again. Got a clear out coming up. A few things here that I'll have to go because I'm, I've been buying quite a bit, so I need to get some money in to sell some, you know, get some other stuff. Uh, can't keep giving it all away. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? That's it, guys. That's, that's it for the ramble. Uh, I say I'm back in the shed. I'm going to try and get more. It's probably out of character for me because I usually, when I do a review, I pick it up and I just go for it and wing it and spew a pile of rubbish. Uh, but I'm going to try and get, you know, key information in there at certain segments of the reviews, you know, like at, at the start, and try and make sure that I'm getting in diameters, lick holes, uh, stuff like that, where you can buy it, price, uh, you know, rather than me just rambling away, uh, because I'm trying to be a bit more professional, don't you know, uh, I don't know how that will work out. Um, what else have we got here? That's it. Right, I'm going. Uh, I have nothing else to comment on. Uh, no, nothing, nothing. Uh, actually, you fancy a wee tour? This is what you call winging it. Right. Now, here's my shed. Here you can see. There's all my uh, my tools, there's my scroll saw, uh, Dremel stand, my chisels, clamps, uh, saws, masks, grinder, um, here's my posters, my 2000 AD, that's issue number one, 2000 AD by the way, big 2000 AD fan, we back in the day. Uh, uh, what have we got over here? door, we've got, uh, you know, lots of shiny stuff, there's my liquids, there's liquids that I've had from in the past that I don't know what I'm doing with, I'll have to chuck them out or give them away to folk, uh, there's some more mods there, that's all, that's all my gear, that's all of them, uh, there's my laptop, it's a big knife, uh, ruler, uh, bits and bobs, there's my tool chest, all my bits and bobs in there, uh, wire, wick, and there's some more crap up there with a cup of coffee, uh, and a chest of drawers, and, and that's it, that's you being right round and back again. Uh, see, how cool was that? <laughs> Right, enough's enough. <laughs> I'll catch you later on, guys. Cheers now. Bye.